Um, I can explain. I can explain. I- no, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we're back a block of bork. All right guys, we're back at the beach town boardwalk and from here on out, no more houses to build, okay? We're done with all the houses. It's gonna be all shops, all stores. So I already have a list of the shops I'm making. I think we're set, but if you wanna have, if you have any recommendations, feel free to keep leaving them down below. Maybe I can fit some of them down somewhere. But anyways, we're working on another shop today here in the town. Here's a recap of everything. If you wanna be caught up, last time we built this public pool. Actually, no. We built a house. This was our last house right here. It's a one-story modern quote-unquote hidden tropical house. And then we've built a public pool over here. I know, a public pool in the beach town when there's gonna be water over here. But we love options, okay? Options are great. So the next shop will be right here and we're doing a bicycle store. Yay! A bike shop because, yeah. It's probably one of the main ways we're going to be uh, traveling around this beach town is through bikes. And that's why I have my bike here today. And Froggy helped me decide which shop to build here because I have been having a lot of trouble thinking what I should put here. I think bikes are good. And then of course behind these shops will be the actual boardwalk shops. So I'm going to have like a pizza store. I'm going to have a restaurant. I'm going to have a souvenir shop like a surfboard shop as well along here. This should be pretty quick because all I have to do is place bikes everywhere and, and all that good stuff. That would be great. Froggy sent me some photos, some like inspiration photos of what I could do for the shop. So, all right. So he sent me this picture. You do something like this. You know, you got some helmets. I don't know. The bikes will be easy. Maybe I can put some like clothing racks in here as well. Maybe I could put some clothes here. And here's a little bit of like the outside. I could put some bikes situated outdoors. Okay, let me get rid of this outline because I don't need it. I don't even know what kind of shape I'm going. That's the one thing I don't know what I'm doing is, of course, the shape. Most of the bike shops I've seen for the exterior are kind of like very simple. Where do I start? Where does the shop... Okay, this one's front door is indent. I'm going to put a, like, a little dent in there. Of course, I've got to make it slightly bigger. Uh, I think it's just going to be like a box. <laughs> yeah, very high ceiling. Okay, maybe I could do like a navy. Is there a navy? Do we have a navy? Blue. All right, all right. Usually, okay, real life shops are always boring anyways, okay? They're usually like blocky in real life. So this is, we're just living up to that. Okay, I'm gonna add some of these things. Um, these little wall trims. Eh, eh, okay. uh, I put you there, I put you. Ah! This is the examples. Okay, here's what I'm like basing it off of. I'm doing something like this for the front. It might be a deep blue or something. Oh, a steel blue. I actually kind of like that color. That's ugly. Okay, I'm doing the roof later. We'll worry about this roof later. I want to uh, decorate the interior and then we can figure that out. Does this place have a bathroom? Probably. We'll do a small bathroom. Maybe I can put like some benches and stuff. Oh, <gasps> exciting. I can put some benches like lined up here, of course. This, and then we can have like some plants in between like that, like plant boxes and stuff too. <gasps> okay, I'll get that like sorted out eventually. I think I have a general idea of how this layout will go. It should be easy. We need some counters, of course. I'm gonna have to buy a lot of bikes. I think we're gonna go broke just trying to buy as many bikes as possible. But yeah, we, we have to buy like kid bikes, of course, tricycles. Ooh, maybe we can sell scooters here as well. It's looking like a bike shop, all right? It's looking like a bike shop. That's great. That's if I if I can make it look like something, then we're good. <laughs> if you can tell what it looks like, right? Right away then we've already mission accomplished okay oh that's kind of sad too right is that a sad way of thinking closet closet okay maybe i'll use some of these oh maybe i'll use <gasps> maybe we can do an industrial themed interior for sure industrial because that's kind of what the vibes are from the the reference pictures i'm free if anyone wants to go to this line you know you ever, you ever go to those like clothing shops multiple cashiers like i'm this line's free <laughs> they go this line's free I can't decide what this interior is gonna look like, but I have some more photos. There's some with carpet, with like, you know, oh gosh, I don't know what to choose. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many options. This is what I do. A modern industrial interior. Okay. And then we can have that one wall that is wooden plank. I think this would be fitting for my industrial interior. Ooh, what if I do like the bike display in here? I think we'll do like a display case in here or something. We'll put like... Oh, we have to do like a little platform in here too. 
This looks really odd. This doesn't look good. Oh gosh, do I need? I don't need a bathroom. Who needs a bathroom? If you want to go to the bathroom, um, there'll be some out here. You know what? Let's not use. Let's not have a bathroom. Not all of the buildings should have a bathroom, so we can just exclude that. It's just gonna be a simple two by two, anyways. I don't want to do that. We have more room now for merch and bike. Gosh, this might as well be the clothing store. I shouldn't even make a clothing store now, cause this kind of like doubles as a clothing bicycle shop. <laughs> so you know what? I think I'm just going to let's just do a surfboard slash souvenir shop together and then this could be the bike slash clothing store together is this a line what kind of line what kind of thing is this maybe i should just do that oh <gasps> wait we got the um we got new shelves from the update we could use that right we could use this we want to make them smaller yeah perfect that's questionable am i still recording okay good i'm recording i i, I will cry if i wasn't recording the entire time oh <gasps> we should do like a tier level here Ooh. Could be this tall and then another one could be like i need to have like at least one bike on the wall Ooh, that's kind of cool how do i get a bike up on the wall and we just place this bike on the wall like you know that will float yeah you'll float too like pennywise says okay that's that's cool what else is in a bike shop helmets what am i gonna use for helmets <laughs> skulls yes this will be the helmets just turn them around okay turn them around no one has to see what's on the other side <laughs> No one has to know, okay? No one will know. Who's gonna know that these skulls are perfect? These skulls will be perfect for bike bicycle helmets. I need more skulls. I mean, I need, I mean, these are per these are, these will be perfect. No one is going to know. No one is going to know. You guys won't tell anybody, right? You won't. I know you won't or else. Oh, I'm running out of money again. I'm broke. I'm so broke. I'm so broke. I'm gonna be broke. I'm gonna be so, 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 so broke. Good question. What am I going to sell? I might sell my Encanto house. But I worked so hard on it! <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> By the way, guys, I've been uploading a bit more to TikTok lately. They're basically just TikTok versions of what you see here on YouTube. If you can't really watch the whole video, there's like some highlight clips I put on TikTok. It's me, Pita Bread is the name of it. Pita Bread because someone stole my name and I forever hate them. <laughs> They're trying to be me. Wait, these industrial metal wall lamps. I can actually make a use of these now. <gasps> I can make a use for these now. Oh my gosh, that's so underwhelming. This whole glass case thing is pretty underwhelming. Let's do like something right here. Okay, when you enter the place, there should be like a display stand like right here. with. The okay, that kind of helped a bit. It kind of definitely made it look more like a commercial type build for sure. It's looking... Okay, we need some decals. I think we just need like posters and stuff. Like custom paintings will definitely help this out a lot. This is looking really funny. Oh, I need one of those. Um, I need like little uh price tag thingies. I need those little price thingies here as well. Uh, what else is needed? Maybe some tissue. Cry when you figure out how expensive the bikes are. Like, hello, sir, this is a thousand something plus dollars. And then you cry and use a tissue as you swipe your card. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a random thought, but, uh, you know, it happens. People do that. <laughs> People do that. They're like, okay. Swipes card. Honestly, it looks, it looks pretty much what you'd expect of a industrial interior bike shop. The way this is set up though, it's kind of messy. Kind of messy, not gonna lie. Maybe off camera? <laughs> Maybe this is another off camera thing. You're probably like, Peter, why don't you just do it on camera now? Sometimes decorating off camera can be very different from decorating on camera. So, uh, there has to be a sign here too. I need to have a sign somewhere. The sign can go there, like a bike thing. And then maybe I can put some bikes up top the very safety hazard. Don't ride the bikes up here. You're gonna fall off. Someone's gonna do it. I know just for the grand opening, someone's gonna try to get up here and ride the bikes off the roof. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not good. No. Like if there's a build where I don't have to use my brain too much on like coloring and texturing and stuff, I would be very happy. But I think we'll just keep it a simple plaster exterior and the roof. Oh gosh, wish me luck on this. This is the idea. <gasps> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think that I need some pillars. We need pillars on every corner, otherwise it's gonna look plain. My only problem is that it's blocky, but that's okay. Blocky is fine. Like, very blocky. <laughs> Super blocky. Froggy's not gonna be very happy about this. He's gonna like, what is this? Froggy's... This was dedicated to him and I disappoint. You know what? For the most part, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I think I might have to change this under. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make some changes to this off camera, but this is good for the time being. It's, uh, you know, it's sort of round. 
around it from the front from the rooftop there once we get the actual sign yeah once we get the actual sign it'll look good and i just add a few more uh polish and we'll be set on the exterior here is our new bicycle shop for when you need to um you know ride around the town don't worry i'm gonna make a sign for that near the end of the series um uh, yeah our bicycle shop is here we got lots of bikes for you to choose from toddler bikes we got kid bikes we have extreme mountain bikes for the adults and um yeah all right and then we go to the inside we have oh it's not too bad <laughs> yeah once we get the signs it's gonna look 10 times better when you walk in you're greeted with more bikes to choose from you got the sort of like clothing store on your left here maybe i'll put on the right you have a few more random bikes to choose from you got more taller bikes and this very random and needed glass case of more bikes maybe i should put like um a history plaque or something in there like that has the descriptions of these bikes yeah i got a bike on the wall <laughs> is that very is that fitting <laughs> oh i could put a ladder thingy design there okay I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out and of course you have more uh merch things more clothing you got bicycle helmets and these are for bike pads for your knees and your elbows and stuff that are in boxes okay they're in boxes for you to purchase yeah i will definitely make a lot of adjustments off camera and hopefully it'll be a lot better next time i show you guys this place but for now this is um passable this is passable for sure yeah we have a new shop here in the town yay okay but yeah anyway guys that'll wrap up today's video if you guys enjoyed it you found it inspiring or entertaining anyway make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free thank you all for taking the time already to watch this and i will talk to you all in the next video have a great day pita bread signing out goodbye everybody you know what that turned out pretty good too i say that with every build i'm like that's decent but i think this one is okay this one's good if you have any like small detail suggestions um leave those in the comments because i'm gonna try my best to make it look good